Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me for another TBR game. We're doing it a little bit differently this month because it's moving month and I have not as much time to read. So instead of the game deciding how many picks I have, I'm going to limit the picks to 10 picks, which is going to be a stretch for me this month. And also I'm going to have four jokers that I'm going to talk to you about in a little bit. First of all, welcome to my new setting. We're in the van. Yay! I don't have a bed anymore and the apartment is almost end. The first week of July is going to be all getting the apartment up to a um, standard that I can hand it over back to the landlord and then it's off to business trips. A new segment that I want to introduce into my TBR game is going forward now that I'm starting my new journey I want to go into doing reading vlogs again and whenever I'm going to release my TBR game of the month you get to pick which book I should be doing the reading vlog for. So for mm, let's say about a week or two just put into a com the comments um, a hashtag and then the title of the book without spaces. So if it would be I am pilgrim you write hashtag I am pilgrim no spaces in between the I and M and the M and pilgrim and that's how you would vote for this book to become a reading vlog. And I will then read it approximately in the second half of the month. I will usually have the cutoff between like one and two weeks after releasing the video and you get to determine which one I then do a reading vlog for. All right, so if you are unfamiliar with my game, I do um, play hook a duck. I pick a duck that has a color on the bottom. The color stands for a genre or category. And then after picking a color, I also pick a card that gives me a prompt that I have to complete in that category. If I, at the end of the month, do not complete all the books that I have picked in one category, I have to do a challenge that somehow correlates with that category. And those you get to watch, so go and check out my playlist for the Punishments vlog. Black stands for sci-fi and eth uh, ethnofuturism. Green is for any type of arc. And usually my game is determined by having picked two arcs. So that's like, usually it can go up to, in theory, 90 books that I have to <laughs> read in a month. Red is a contemporary, so anything that plays in the now. Then we have purple for historical fiction, yellow for out of my comfort zone. This can include horror, nonfiction, romance, short stories. There's a few things that I would consider out of my comfort zone. And then last but not least, orange is for fantasy. We have a new pond because I'm not taking my big pond with me. All the books up here are the physical books that I have in my van and that I intend to hopefully get into the TBR game. I have four jokers. And other than that, I only want to choose books that I either have purchased as an audiobook or that I have as an ebook because all of my other physical books are already sto stored away. I have six um, banana boxes that I have put into my brother's um, basement for storing them. Now, my four jokers are. And these four lovely books, and these have been picked by my nieces. Um, two of my nieces got to pick the books that I have to read and I have to incorporate them this in this TBR. And I'll tell you why they chose these four books uh, when we are incorporating them. All right, pick number one. And pick number one is a fantasy book. And we have to do a fantasy book book that is a subscription book box. Now, a fantasy book in a subscription box, um, I this is not a fantasy book that was in a subscription box, but I do believe that the end of the day is considered a fantasy and it wasn't a subscription box. Pick number two. Let's pick a pink one. There we go. Um, Black Force Sci-Fi ethnofuturism and I do think we have one up here. Let's see if the prompt allows us to choose it. Have I read it? Well, yeah, I think I'm pretty sure the Children of Time has been on my TBR 
a gazillion times, it definitely qualifies for Have I Read It. Have I Read It pretty much looks through, um, did I have it on my TBR in the past year and not read it? And is it on that list? And I'm 100% sure, certain, uh, children of time, yeah, it is on that. Pick number three. Let's go with you. Arc. We have one arc up here that's officially an arc and the prompt is have i read it well technically technically i don't think i've put this on my tbr last year but i've put this on my tbr last month so i'm gonna count it this time oh shit i've been like through my watch <laughs> zooming in i'm so sorry next pick it's pick number four sci-fi ethnofuturism we do not have another sci-fi ethnofuturism on my list but maybe we have one in my audiobooks slash ebooks we're gonna find out if we are going for a joker hardcover yeah that's a no that's a definite no i'm not going to add another hardcover because they're in storage and i'm not going to go and buy if i have over 300 books in storage so let's pick the first joker the joker is um sentenced to prison by alan dean foster uh, my niece lucy picked this and she just thought the cover was so fun it looked so intriguing like a lot of action like cavall and boom <laughs> and she was totally intrigued by that and she loved it so this is why she picked it i am to report to her if it is cavall and boom indeed pick number five all right and we have red for contemporary um do we have contemporary up here i do not believe we do we do not have contemporary in there, but maybe we have an audiobook or ebook. And we are doing shuffle music. Ooh, I love this prompt. So, what we are going to do, we're going to take my phone that I'm recording with. That doesn't work. That does not work. So, let's see if we can do it on my laptop. And shuffle music pretty much means I go into my library and shuffle my whole library. We're going to go with a my favorites and more. Um, based on my listening habits over the past something they're going to recommend songs to me and there's a high chance that the song that comes up is not in my playlist yet but we're just going to go for it so shuffle music pretty much means we're randomly getting a song and then we're trying to find a book that matches the song either in title or vibe or something there we go let's see what is it Talk to me by Michael Patrick Kelly. Hear me now, oh, hear me now. I'm trying to get to you. Okay, so the chorus is kind of desperately asking why you're not talking. Why don't you talk to me? And I feel like this probably covers every YA romance book. <laughs> I feel like everything is based on misunderstandings, but should we go for a, another Joker? Because I feel like potentially one of the Jokers might actually fit the... Okay, so I have two Jokers and I think I'm gonna go with Teardrop. Um, basically because this is giving me very, very strong YA romance vibes. And as I said, why don't you talk to me um, or talk to me is giving me romance vibes um, for sure. Potentially, I also have Super Fake Love Song still on my list, um, which has come up a gazillion times, so maybe I'm gonna switch that out if I need another Joker. But Teardrop was picked by Sophie, and she picked it because she really loved the cover. It looked endearing and mystical, and she loved that the title was um, like embossed and it has like water splashing, and it, she just felt it was like fantastical. and. It gave her a major vibes and that's why she picked it. She also read the back. It is in German. And the back says, in a world um, in which one tear can wash away everything that you love, there's only one rule. Never cry. Never even shed one single tear. And she was super intrigued by this and said that she would want to know what's going on as well. So we reading that for Sophie. How are you liking the idea of having jokers if I cannot or do not want to fill a prompt? We have another fantasy. 
we do have a couple of fantasies on the list. So let's go and find one that matches what we have in books here. Even number of pages. We can certainly do that. I'm pretty sure. So we have um, the two bottom ones are fantasy and then this is fantasy. So let's go through which one has an even number of pages. Should we start? No, let's start with this one. This one would progress me in a series and it has 402 so we're going to go with girls of storm and shadow right pick number seven and we have another fantasy and we're going super hyped for it uh super hyped for it i'm definitely super hyped for uh, conjuring of light um i'm also super hyped for um the evan winter i loved both firsts in the series so either one would be great Let's go with Evan Winter for this one. Pick number eight. We're almost done. Yay, little duckies. And we have an arc. This is a very high potential to go for a Joker. Uh, continuous series. I don't actually think that I still have an arc that's continuing a series that I can read without having to read another one before that. So we're gonna go for another Joker. Choosing a glittering cord. And this one is also picked by Sophie and she just considered this very, very beautiful. I think that it's it's giving her kind of like princess vibes that she enjoyed. It's dark and mystical, but at the same time, like she has a big jewelry and the flowers and she just loved the cover. and this would be the type of book that she would pick in the library um and she actually told me that she had seen books by this author before in the library and she wanted to pick them in german um, but her mom said she's not allowed yet because the content is not what she's allowed to read yet so she was like can you please read it and tell me please and then hopefully she's going to be old enough to read them in german um soon <laughs> pick number nine and we have historical fiction. I would love some historical fiction on my reading list. I'm not seeing any. So... Um, odd number of pages. So the only book that I found on my wish list in historical fiction with an odd number of pages that is like on my radar in the very near future uh, without looking at what I've saved on script or book beat would be The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. I do want to read it, but I think for now I'm going to go with The Last Joker and I can potentially still swap it in for The Great Alone for some if for some reason I want to do it. And you can go and vote for The Great Alone for a reading vlog as well. So even if I don't put it into my TBR, this one you can definitely vote for. So the last one is Winter Song and this one has then again been picked by Lucy and she just also said this cover looked um, kind of cute. She loved that it has winter in it and she could see snow and um, that really was drawing her in. It's just a beautiful cover and she, she sees snow and winter and she's curious about what this could be about. Okay, the last pick, and the last pick is yellow, out of my comfort zone. Great! Why couldn't we do one single month without going out of my comfort zone? And I don't have a joker anymore. Maybe I do have to go and, and switch the grade alone back in. Let's see. All right. Can we make one of them work with out of my comfort zone? Less than 250 pages. Well, neither of them has less than 250 pages, so that's not. So there's one more book in my van, it, which is a nonfiction that I actually really love reading. And I've been reading parts of it for the second time. Um, it officially is a nonfiction, so officially it's out of my comfort zone, even though it's one of my favorite books right now. Acknowledgements are 256, 255, 254. Uh, uh, it has 253 pages. We're, make, we're making it count, right? It, it counts. 
it counts. Does it start on page one? Well, with an introduction, it does. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm making it count. We're, we're choosing this one for out of my comfort zone. And it's a fabulous book. If you're interested in cultural differences and in how cultures work together. All right, there we go with our 10 picks. I'm going to put all the books into my back into my bookshelf up here. All right, this is it for today. The little duckies have done their job and my nieces have done their job. And I hope to see you again on my channel real soon. Don't forget to vote for the reading vlog. <laughs> Bye. Just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever?